Hey guys, so today what we're working on here is a six unit anterior case. Um, this was sent to me via Serona Connect from a Seric dentist. I'm simply going to design this case, send the design file back to the dentist for the dentist to mill the crowns and um, seat the restorations. Now, uh, prior to receiving this case, um, this dentist uh, sent me a pre-op scan. I virtually prepped that, uh, made a wax up for it and printed the wax up, sent it to the dentist. Uh, the wax up was used for temps and also for the biocopy. And what you're looking at right now is uh, the biocopy of the wax up. So I'm gonna overlay the uh, copy scan. And then after um, going through all the steps, you know, prior to getting to the design phase, um, you're going to mark around the, the wax up to determine what you want the software to copy. Once that's done and you're in the design phase, this is the initial proposal. Now, uh, the point of this video is, um, I'm making this video to display kind of what needs to be done after you get your initial proposal um, in order to have this look, well, flawless. Um, as you can see right now, there are some discrepancies uh, that the software created when copying the wax up. These are easy fixes, and I want to run through how to get these fixed and uh, get your crowns in the mill. So first thing you're going to do is, well, pretty much just evaluate what you've got to work with. Um, and the software didn't do a terrible job at copying this, but it could have been better. So let's just start out with the form tool, go over to smooth, and let's work around the margins. We can take away the jaw and let's work around the margins just to start out with a clean slate without these um, ripples and whatnot and then we'll proceed from there. So I'm gonna fast forward this to get through um, kind of the mundane stuff. And also when doing this, don't have your strength up all that high. You want control when you're um, working around these margins. So keep the strength low, as low as it can go actually and just slowly work around. So as you can see, uh, it already looks a lot better, a whole lot better, just from smoothing out those margins. Now what we're going to focus on is the contacts. So um, I will fast forward through that as well, but I will touch up on just a few little key points that, um, that are important when doing your contacts. For starters, uh, when you are doing your contacts, you can take away the contact um, color and then what you wanna focus on is getting a nice vertical um, emergence into, into each crown. So you wanna look at the interproximals of each and kind of make things straight. Um, so that way when you go to refine the contacts, you're kind of working with something that's already ideal. You just need to tinker with it a little bit to get everything green or whatnot, whatever you 
prefer your contacts to be at. And you could see there's some areas right here that could be filled in on the lingual. Okay, so now we've got the contacts how we want them, or better yet, the embrasures how we want them. Now we're going to go in and make those contacts green. And what we're really going to focus on here is making a nice, smooth surface that's green. You don't want things to be, um, for, for lack of better terms, lumpy. Um, and you could kind of see that right here, how kind of there's an indention. You want to fix all that with the smooth tool. So we're going to do that now and make everything green. And remember, keep the strength low so that you have control of what you're doing. We're just going to fix this little area right here. You can see how it's kind of lumpy. This cuspid is overlapping the, uh, the lateral slightly um, just because there's very limited space. And there is a discrepancy in the scan um, that I noticed. So we're going to leave this contact somewhat red right there and just hope that we get it right. I don't know if you noticed that before, but there's a little, um, I'll just show you. See, there's a little bubble right there. And we'll also fix this um, minimal thickness while we're at it. And when contact isn't broken, um, whenever you're doing veneers or three quarter crowns, you're gonna run into contact right here because the margins are so close to each other. After crowns like these are milled, it's always good to polish the margins manually so that the this little area doesn't hold up the crowns. And again, while we're doing the contacts, we'll focus on the minimal thickness that's exposed. We'll do the midline last. So we're going to focus on everything but the midline contact.
that's an area that may be good to polish too after uh after the crown's milled i think that'll mill we set our marginal thickness pretty high Okay, now let's look at the embrasure form with the contacts gone, and it all looks nice and natural, as if they're um, going into contact with each other rather than one leaning over too much or whatnot, or what have you. We've still got an indention up here. We'll use the add tool. Sometimes it's hard to use the shape tool up at the margin. Smooth it out once again. Okay, do the same thing on this central. See those areas up at the margin? It's hard to get those areas with the shape tool sometimes. Okay, now let's focus on the midline a little bit here. So what we're gonna do to get the midline is we're gonna click this front tool and the view options, we're gonna click the front tool just because that's gonna give us a facial view, an accurate facial view to, to work off of. Um, and we'll fix some of this incisal edge. Um, there we go, just level it out a little bit. Okay, that's good. Now for starters, let's let's hit this area with the the form or the smooth tool. You could see this discrepancy right here. Let's take care of that first. And then again, we'll be working with the blank slate. Let's do the same thing on the other side. And who knows, that may take care of the contacts. We want to make sure that our midline is vertical. We don't want it canted. So that's what we're going to focus on. Um, more than getting the midline green, although we will make it green, we want it to be nice and vertical. Okay, let's take a look at what we've got. So this one's good. This, this midline right here is vertical. You could see this one, though, however, um, it's somewhat curved and con concave or convex, concave, one of the two. So we're gonna straighten that out, straighten out that midline. Get these embrasures somewhat symmetric, that's the idea. Okay, now that midline looks straight and vertical. So now what we're gonna do is focus on one take away the upper jaw, we've hit the front tool. So we're looking at it from the front and you could see if you pull up the grid, it's still not vertical. So what we're gonna try and do is make that vertical. And I think that that's good for now. Let's look at this one, this one looks pretty good too. Okay. Pull it up again. Now we're gonna focus on making it green. Contacts. We're just gonna slightly go back and forth. Back and forth. Until we get it right. Take away the contact color, look at it from the front, and we've got a vertical midline. That's a relief.
Okay, cool. So take away the upper jaw, then check all the contacts once more. Make sure they're all green. That one, remember the discrepancy. So we're going to leave that the way it is, unfortunately. I'll mention something to the doctor about that. So all of our contacts are green. Bring the upper jaw back into play. And we've got our design complete. Um, that got done fairly quick. I'm pretty happy with those results. Let's double check some things. Yeah, we're good to go. Um, this was a total, total success. Um, so the workflow, let me explain it again, um, just to touch up. Uh, Dennis sent the pre-op scan before our patient was ever seen or prepped. Uh, virtual wax up was done, printed. The printed wax up was sent to the dentist. Um, dentist used that wax up for one, the biocopy, and it was also used for the temps. Patient could go home. You then have a great foundation for your design because you're going to use the biocopy tool. And uh, after it's designed, it's milled, patient comes back, and uh, you're ready to seat. Now let's just uh, notice one thing real quick. Let's refine this, the length. That's a bit better. Yeah. Okay, so, um, I mean, that's, that's it in a nutshell. That's how you, um, that's at least how I uh, do my biocopy designs. And the only time I ever do a biocopy design is when I do the wax up, and then I also do the design. I'll just use the, the biocopy for reference and um, if patient's happy with it, I'll just copy it directly. But yeah, that's how it's done. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to comment. Um, if you're watching this on Facebook, like the video. If you're on YouTube, subscribe. I'm putting out content um, as frequent as possible. Just anything that I think um, you guys may find useful. And if you guys have any recommendations for videos, uh, please feel free to message me and I'll get something out for you guys. But um, anyways, um, Till next time.